Happy long weekend, Canada. So great to have you aboard for another fantastic holiday matchup between the Halifax Wanderers and York United. A big loss for the Halifax Wanderers, no doubt about it, as Lorenzo Caligari misses out due to yellow card accumulation, but a boost in the return of Massimo Farron. We're expecting York United to play in this formation that will mostly look like a 4-2-3-1. Max Ferrari, Usama Alou, and Osaze Di Rosario are the three changes for Martin Nash. Alou playing in behind of Diro in a bit of a free roll Ricci on the right side of that three Clement Baia on the left feel an anxious energy at Wanderers grounds as Fai runs off it is a low goal for goal punched by Fai over the box but Baldissimo is first on the loose ball Ferrari spins towards the corner flag one touch to control putting onto his left his cross a taken any Canadian Premier League player for Andre Rampersad It's a pass back for the most minutes. Here's Baldissimo, yeah. has a go! Matthew Baldissimo right down Broadway! Completely uncontested, and the visiting side strikes first. Osama Alou puts his body on the line. Omar cannot take the ball away, and Baldi with a bullet! And the nine stripes lead early at Wanderers grounds. What a great strike this is. You end up getting your booking. You kind of have to adjust your play as well a little bit. Claim on fire. Around Campania goes low. Pushing the space. Di Rosario had an opportunity. A loop. Directly onto the forehead of Mo Omar. It's the only thing to be attacked with a loop. Tobias completely unmarked. Clint Umpire oh. oh. deflects half over. Fourth quarter of the match, a loop. That's a decent looking ball. Fernandez wasn't directly on line of it, but gets just enough to at least get his group restructured. Return for Luna Cross. Wow, so close to staying on the right side of the woodwork. The second and third ranked sides in the Canadian Premier League at the moment. Pacific can go top of the table with a full three points away from home. Richie gives it to a low side. Special, special goal, and over dipping and diving away from Jan Filion. That is a wonderful strike, and it doubles the advantage for York United. Wow. Options for Nenek. Takes the ball through the center circle and gives it away, springing the nine stripes. What a ball from Di Rosario. Ferrici, Omar goes with him, crossing the line up in space, but Alou cannot get to the back post before Kailaki. Entering the game, the Chambers of the Pussy, the Horn Zone. Exiting the game, number 22, Mohamed Omar. Entering the game, number 24, And has a cross towards Baia. The two sixes have scored for the away side. It is a state of utter disbelief here in Halifax as all of a sudden they trail by three goals. Yeah. And then Samara. That is a horrifying start for Halifax. Top of his goal, five tackles in the match for Brem Sumaro. There's been very little that has gotten in behind the most of Halifax's initial joys come from the wings. But it's kept up. And here is Messi off the crossbar. And the look he was given by his wide open teammate saying, If you're going to shoot that, please score. Otherwise, I'll do it for you. Bonissimo's brain 
Challenger short circuits for a minute. They've got to be on the board. Big switch for Zach Frame as off his chest and looking up. Aiden Daniels, better cross. Bounces once in front of Alfonso. Alfonso onto his left with a lot of power. It looked like he was trying to go and sneak that under the crossbar. Every time that everyone has identified and see what challenges we've had tactically, but just keep improving and go in the opposite direction today. Ruby's cross is deflected. Alfonso reads it, stays with the play. West Timoteo recovers the loose ball. Ferrazzo returns the pass to him. Now Timoteo's cross. Oh, diving at the back post was Fernandez. Squeaked out a 1 0 win over Valor. And the 0 0 at York United. 2 0 at home, losing the Pacific. And then losing to Atletico Ottawa by two goals to one. Farron for the Alfonso. Just a good behind him, Farron. There's so well to help create, but Carson Alfonso was not able to beat John Sopis. You can tell Jimmy that the other keeper had no idea where that ball was going. Here's a wonderful hit from Riley Ferrazzo. Full time in Nova Scotia. And what should have been a celebration for these Wanderers supporters today.